Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I've got one of the best selling, if not the best selling rackets to review from Wilson. This is the Wilson Clash 100 version two. Super popular racket right now. Can't wait to review it for you guys. Make sure you guys watch this video all the way to the end because at the end of the video, I'm gonna be going over the mic score of this racket where I give it a score out of 10 in six different categories and then compare it to all the other rackets I've reviewed on this channel so far. Before we jump into the full in-depth review of the Wilson Clash 100 version two, if you guys wanna see more racket reviews on my channel, please hit the like button on this video. It helps my channel out so much. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads. And if you're a long time subscriber looking for more ways to support my channel, one of the things you guys can do is use that super thanks button right below this video that's gonna allow you to make a small donation to my channel, and it's gonna also allow you to highlight any of the comments that you make on this channel, so make sure that I don't miss it. And of course, if you're looking for new tennis gear, whether it's clothes, shoes, or rackets, you guys can use my referral link to the racket guys in the pinned comment below. With all that being said, let's jump right into the review of the Wilson Clash 100 version two. What we're gonna start out with here is the spec sheet for this racket. That's for my tennis nerds and tennis geeks out there. So as you guys can see, based on the name of the racket, the Clash 100, this is a 100 square inch racket. So a ton of forgiving room on the head of this racket. The length is a standard 27 inches. The strung weight comes on the light side of 310 grams, as you guys can see by the unstrung weight being even below 300 grams, quite unusual. So if you're somebody who's looking for a little bit of a lighter racket, this is it right here. The strung balance is seven points head light. The swing weight is 313. Flex is 57. Now, one of the things about this racket is that it's supposed to be one of the most flexible rackets on the market. And as a matter of fact, I actually think it's supposed to be the most flexible racket on the market. If you're suffering from tennis elbow, besides just improving your technique, you can also be using this racket right here, which will reduce some of those vibrations and pains going into your arm. Now the beam width here, it's a little bit on the thicker side, but it is uniform all the way through, which is something I actually like in rackets. So this one right here is 24.5 millimeters and the string pattern is a 16 by 19, which is gonna give you some really nice pop and room for those strings to move to generate some nice spin off of the frame. All right guys, now that we've geeked out over the specs, let's jump on court with this racket so you guys can see what this racket looks like in action. And I'll also be giving you guys my initial thoughts of what this racket was like to play with. All right, let's go. Welcome to the on court section of this review. So when it comes to the Clash 100, one of the first things I noticed that stands out with this racket is just how gorgeous this racket is. I know it's something we don't really mention too much in racket reviews, but it's something I like to look for in my rackets. If I'm gonna be spending 200, 300 and up dollars, I wanna make sure that I actually have something I enjoy looking at. So in this case, I love the design of this Wilson Clash, this new version two design that they have with the metallic red and popped the black looks fantastic it's got a laser etched clash logo into the side like this thing just looks absolutely wicked and it is something that i love having out on court now besides just this racket looking fantastic i found this racket extremely unique to play with if you've never played with a clash racket it's really hard to describe it's really unlike any other racket that you're going to play with because of that high flex rating, it just creates for a completely different feel compared to anything else. Now, for personally, for me, it doesn't quite work. I like to have a little bit of a stiffer racket. I like to feel very connected to the ball. I don't like that kind of cushion, cushiony feeling. This thing feels like a cloud. Uh, I don't know any other way. It's almost like you're hitting the ball off of a pillow. This may be the best way I can explain it. Now, for some people, you might absolutely love that and it's definitely a unique feeling like i said you got to try this racket it might be something that you absolutely love now of course for those people that have a little bit of arm pain or a little bit of tennis elbow that they're dealing with something like this is fantastic like it's really like hitting off of a cloud like you barely feel anything this racket right here is actually something i'm really going to be considering when it comes time to coach in the summer uh, for me, I spend a lot of time on court in the summer when it comes to coaching, sometimes upwards of eight, nine hours a day, hitting tennis balls constantly throughout the day. So having a racket like this where I can just hit all day and not worry about the consequences to my arm would actually be really beneficial. And that's actually why I see a lot of coaches actually switching to the Clash. Now, if you're a coach, definitely a racket I would recommend just based on how practical it would be with you. The design of this racket and the features and specs of this racket really make it easy to play for a really long time 
without much consequences to the arm. One of the things I was actually really shocked when it came to this racket is even though I didn't feel as connected to the ball as some of the other rackets I play with, especially my own racket being the V-Core 95 back from 2018, which is a super precise, super connected feeling racket. This one right here is very disconnected, but the results that you get with it are undeniable. My consistency was really good with this racket. The depth of shot was really good. The power was good. The control was good. I actually didn't have any complaints when it comes to the shots that were produced by this racket. I actually thought it did a great job. It had excellent spin as well, found it super easy to control. And even though I didn't feel connected to the ball, hitting my spots was actually really easy when it came to serves and just moving my opponent around the court. This thing was really cool to play with, super unique, unlike anything else that I've ever played with, even from the huge list of rackets that I've reviewed. And if you're somebody who values comfort, this is the racket for you. With that 100 square inch head size, it's super approachable. The sweet spot felt gigantic. It had that cushiony feeling, whether I hit the top of the string bed, middle, sweet spot, down below, it all felt the same, which makes it really approachable, especially for beginner and intermediate players. I couldn't recommend this racket more if you're looking for a little bit of assistance out of your racket. So if you're somebody who likes to have that little bit of friendliness when it comes to the, the frame, you know, maybe just a recreational player, you like to come out on the weekends, but still have good power, good control, all that, but have the racket help you out a little bit, this is definitely the racket for you. And that's exactly why this is the best-selling Wilson racket, because there's a lot of players that are looking for exactly that. They're looking for something comfortable, they're looking for something that controls the ball well, produces good power, and is a good all-arounder. And this racket does that. So of course it's gonna sell extremely well, and the fact that it looks fantastic is just a bonus. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the on-court footage and my initial thoughts with the Clash 100 version 2. Like I said, really happy with this racket, pleasantly surprised. I wasn't the biggest fan of the original version, uh, but this one is definitely an improvement. I found that the depth, the control, especially the control, was a lot better with the version 2 compared to the initial version 1 of the Clash. So if you're somebody who maybe liked the Clash, the first one, but was looking for a little bit more control, this racket, huge improvement in that category. You're gonna absolutely love it. Like I promised at the beginning of the video, we're gonna go over the mic score of this racket and see how it compares to all the other rackets I reviewed on my channel. Let's bring up the mic score right now. This racket had a total mic score of 47 out of 60. Now to break down the categories going into the styling category here, I thought this racket was absolutely gorgeous. I love the, what they did with it. I love that Wilson is being more creative with their designs. They're trying to change it up and they're trying to make things look fresh and interesting and exciting and they definitely achieve that with this racket. The paint of the metallic red, super creative paint choice and looks fantastic on the racket. Next up is the power of this racket. I gave this an 8 out of 10. I found that the racket was great at creating depth and creating a decent amount of pace even if you're in a little bit of awkward positions. The string pattern 16 by 19, that big open head shape of 100 square inches allowed you to just play the ball nice and deep with good pace from pretty much any position on the court, which is why I gave it an eight out of 10 in power. Next up is the control of the racket, and this was actually the most surprising part of this racket in my opinion. I had reviewed the original Clash before I created the mic score list, so it doesn't appear on this list here, but I definitely would have given it a much lower score in control compared to this one. Wilson did a fantastic job at improving the control of this racket. I'm not sure exactly what they tweaked in order to achieve that, but I really applaud them. They did a fantastic job. I found that I was placing the ball extremely well. My opponent even commented after the match how well I was maneuvering the ball when it came to the Wilson Clash version two. So super happy, and that's why I gave it an eight out of 10. Next up is the maneuverability of this racket. I found it a little bit clunky when it comes to maneuverability, and that comes down to the actual head size and thickness of the beam. I'm not a huge fan of these thick beam rackets. I understand it's there to add a little bit of stability, but when it comes to your volleys and kind of just maneuvering the racket around, I find that it becomes a little bit clunky and chunky and that affects the maneuverability of this racket. Now it's not horrible, it's quite a light racket so you can maneuver it pretty easily and for those reasons combined is why I gave it a 7 out of 10 in maneuverability. Next up is the feel of this racket and this category is going to be up for debate. Hopefully you guys can add your opinions into the comment section below but because this racket was so pillowy, so cushiony, so much flex, I just really felt disconnected from the ball and to me that takes away from the feel. I like to feel exactly where the ball is on my string bed, 
so that I can improve my shots as I play. With this one, I didn't feel that. Pretty much wherever the ball hit felt exactly the same. Now, some people might love that, which is why I say this is up for debate, up for discussion. But this one right here, everything just felt cushioned, absorbed into the racket. And I just didn't really feel any connection in terms of what I was doing. Um, like I said, it produced an amazing shot but coming off of the actual feeling of the racket i just didn't have that connection which is why i gave it a 6 out of 10 in feel finally is the cool factor of this racket now i think that what wilson is doing with this clash lineup is super unique to really target a more flexible racket is something that you're not really seeing from many other manufacturers this was a very specific racket and a really interesting choice that wilson tried to do they also promoted the heck out of this racket which i think adds to the cool fact when it comes to instagram this thing is super easily photographed and Wilson has been pushing this on all their social media websites, which I think is pretty cool. I don't see many other manufacturers kind of pushing into that scene as much as Wilson is. And chances are you're probably going to see your local tennis club coach using this racket. I think that's pretty cool. So that's going to add to the cool factor as well. With all those unique qualities, that's the reason I gave this racket an 8 out of 10 in the cool factor. Now that the mic score is completed, that's going to bring this racket review to a wrap. If you guys enjoyed it, if it was informative, if it helped you make your decision in terms of buying your racket, please leave a like on this video. It helps my channel out so much and I really, really appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can do that by hitting that little tennis ball in the corner of the video or you can hit the red subscribe button right below this video and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads. As always, thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.